Hi, in this lecture video, I'll be discussing molarity. And there are three learning objectives for this lecture video. First, I will help you understand what molarity is. And second, we'll teach you how to calculate the molarity of a solution. And third, it's for you to learn how to use the molarity as a conversion factor. So first, what is molarity and why do we use it? And so molarity is basically the most powerful and the most common method that we use in chemistry and in science to actually express the concentration of a solution. And whenever we are using the molarity, then we are expressing the amount of solute in terms of mole. And now the amount of solution is then in liter. And so uh, a, as a quick recall, that any unit of concentration should express how much solute do we have in certain amount of a solution. And here in this case right here, in this molar method, the amount of solute is then expressed in mole, and the amount of solution is then expressed in liter of the solution. And the molarity is then referred to as the molar concentration. So whenever we say what is the molar concentration of a solution, we are simply referring to the molarity of a solution. And so by definition, based on what we have seen already, then the molarity, which is abbreviated with the uppercase M, is then equal to mole of solute over liter of the solution. And a lot of time, this volume of the solution right here is then set equal to one liter. And the reason why is that we will take the amount of mole and divide by whatever liter that we have here, and after this division, we'll be able to then convert this liter right here into more, uh, into one liter on the denominator. So that's how the molarity is. More of solute per one liter of the solution. And we can see that this is a fraction right here. So basically, it is a conversion factor. So it is a conversion factor. They'll convert more of solute into volume of the solution in liter. And for an example right here, if we were to have a one molar, one M and a Cl solution, what did this solution mean? If you be if you see this on the label of a bottle. So what this means is that this one right here is the concentration of the solution. And this M right here tells us that the method being used to describe its concentration is molarity. And third, this is the solute right here. So one M and a Cl. Now we do not, not normally say one M NaCl, but then we will say one molar NaCl. So the M is then referred to as molar. So a one molar NaCl solution. And what this means as a conversion factor is as follow. We will then have one mole. So this one right here is then transfer into this one. And now M will then equal to mole of NaCl. And on the bottom, it will then one liter of the solution. So that's how it is. So again, molarity, the M equal to mole of solute, whatever is the solute over liter of solution. So as we can see right here, if we simply focus on this part right here, mole over liter of solution, this is what the big M would be. And therefore, we're now equal to, we'll be able to write this as 1M and ACL. And this means mole of NaCl over one liter of the solution on the denominator. An example of how we'd be able to use the molarity in calculation is as follow. The molarity of a solution will allow us to quickly convert the amount of, of a solution into the mole of the solute very, very quickly. And in fact, this is the big advantage to using molarity as, a, uh, as the unit of concentration rather than the percent concentration. If we were to be using the molarity of a solution from the very beginning, then now, if we were to know how much volume of the solution that we have, and we know its molarity, we can quickly figure out how many more of solute that we have. And knowing the more of solute that we have in a solution is important, because whenever we do chemical calculation, we need to figure out how many more of reactants or product that we have, right? And if we were to now know or, or using the molarity of a solution to express its concentration, 
then we can quickly convert the volume of the solution into how many mole of solute that is present in it quickly. And so for an example, let's say we start with liter of solution. If we were to know the volume of a solution, we can then quickly convert the volume of the solution into mole of solute easily by using the molarity. And similarly, if we were to start with mole of solute, we'll be able to quickly convert this into liter of solution as well by using the molarity as well. In this case right here, we'll be using the reciprocal. So these two fractions in here will then be, re be the reciprocal of each other that they use for the different purpose. One is to go from lead of solution to more of solute. And the other one is to go backward from more of solute into leader of solution. So that's how we can use the molarity as a conversion factor. When we have leader of solution on the denominator, we'll be able to convert that into more of solute. Versus if we were if we were to have more of solute on the denominator, we'll be able to convert this into leader of the solution. So how do we then prepare a solution of a particular molarity? Let's go over an example. Let's say that we want to make a one molar NaCl solution. How do we proceed to make this solution right here? So first, let's understand what is the meaning of this one M NaCl solution. This means that there's one mole of NaCl in one liter of this solution. So if I would have one liter of this solution, it will have then one mole of NaCl in it. And now, one mole of NaCl have the molar mass of 58.44 gram. So therefore in here, maybe 58.44 gram that is present in this one liter of the solution. So that's the meaning to it. In this one liter of solution, there'd be 58.44 gram of NaCl or one more of NaCl in it. So if we were to want to make one liter of this one mole, one molar NaCl solution, we would then to have first weigh out 58.44 gram of it, right? Because so we would take out 58.44 gram of it, because that would then equal to one more of NaCl. And we would then add this into a volumetric flask and follow by adding some water in to dissolve this. So first, do not add water in all of the way to this mark right here, but add some amount in here, but do not fill this to the neck, so that way we can mix this easily. We can swirl this to dissolve the solid in here. And in here, now we know that we have 58.44 gram of NaCl, or one more of NaCl. Once all of this solid has been dissolved already, then now we can add more water into it until the volume of this solution right here reaches exactly one liter. And after we have done this already, we now know that we have one liter of this solution and the concentration of this solution right here will then be one molar. Now we do not know how much volume of water that we add in here. And so therefore we will not be able to actually figure that out out that at all. We do not know how much volume of solvent that we use. All we know is what is the final volume of the solution. So please be aware of it. So this does not mean that I have one liter of water, but then I may have a little bit more or maybe less than one, uh, maybe a little bit less than one liter of water here in this case. And now let's go over some practice problem to make sure that we know how to calculate the molarity of a sol solution and know how to use it as a conversion factor in chemical calculation. So here are some of the problem right here. On this first problem right here, it is asking us to calculate the molarity of a solution that it make by dissolving 13 grams of sugar. And this is the chemical form of sugar right here in enough water. So we don't know how much water, but we just know this enough of it to now make this final volume of the solution right here. So here in this case, what is the molarity of this solution? And again, we know that already whenever we refer to molarity, we need to convert our amount of solute into mole of solute over liter of solution on the denominator. And so in this case right here, we started out with mass 
of solute. So we have to figure out how many more of this solute right here that we would have. So we have to convert this into mole first. Here in this case right here, to do that calculation, starting with 13 gram of sucrose. So, so in the chemical formula is C12H22O11. So that's sugar right there. And now the molar mass of sugar based on the chemical formula is 342.30 gram of sugar, C12H22O11, equal to one mole of C12, it's 22 O11, or we can also write sugar. And this would then have equal to 0 0.0380 mole of NaCl. In this solution right here, I'm sorry, this would be sugar. So based on a calculation, we would then be having 0 0.0380 mole of sugar in it. And now, the volume of the solution is then 400 milliliter of solution. And now, so basically, we will be taking this and dividing by the volume of the solution. And we have to make sure that we convert the volume of the solution in liter. So in this case right here, uh, 4.00 times 10 to the second milliliter would then equal to 0 0.400 liter of solution. Again, make sure this is converted into liter right here. And once we take this value, divide by this value, we'll be able to convert the denominator into 1. So now this would then equal to 0 0.0950. And we will then on top have more of C12H22O11. And now on the, bar, on the denominator, we would then be reduced to 1 liter of the solution. And we can now write the following. Whenever we have more of something over liter of solution, or one liter of solution, this is the uppercase M right here. So therefore, this will then equal to 0 0.0950 uppercase M, followed by the chemical formula of the solution, what the solute would be. C12H22O11. And... That is how we would label this solution right here and its concentration. So the molarity of the solution would then be 0 0.059, 0 0.0950 molar sugar. So that is pretty easy right there to calculate the molarity of the solution. Again, we want to convert the amount of solute into mole, and then we divide by whatever is the volume of the solution in liter and by once we have done the division take the mole divided by the volume of the solution in liter we'll be able to convert the volume of the solution into one liter and now however however many more of it would then be on top so let's now learn how to use this conversion factor uh, this molator right here as a conversion factor so this molator right here means the following 0 0.0950 more of sugar C12 is 22 O11 over 1 liter of this solution. So in exactly 1 liter of this solution, there will be 0 0.0950 more of sugar in it. So that's how we convert this molarity into that conversion factor. And now let's try another example right here. How many more of methanol are in 45.3 milliliter of a 0 0.550 molar methanol solution? So this is an example right here of how we can use the molarity as a conversion factor. Okay, And so in this case right here, anytime we deal with this kind of problem, it's important that we uh, use dimensional analysis. And here in this case right here, our starting unit, we start in with 45.3 milliliter of the solution. And we want to convert this into more of methanol. And in this solution right here, methanol is the solute. So we basically essentially asking for more of solute in this solution. That's what the question is asking us to do. 
So we have to convert from volume of the solution into mole of solute. And we know that that's what the molarity would be, right? So that is what this molarity is. And therefore, we have to use this molarity right here as the conversion factor to solve this problem. And now, make sure we know how to use this molarity right here as a conversion factor. So what is the conversion factor that we can write for this molarity right here? So this is what I mean, 0 0.550 mole of methanol over one liter of solution. So that's what this concentration would mean as a conversion factor. And now we have mole of methanol over liter of solution. That is a conversion factor. And now we can then see, in order for us to solve this problem right here, we are starting out from, well, with milliliter of solution. Before we can use this conversion factor right here, or this molarity as a conversion factor, we have to convert our volume from milliliter of solution into liter of solution first, since that the unit of volume in the molarity it is in liter. So we have to convert from milliliter into liter first. And once we have lead of solution, we can now convert this into more of solute. And that would then provide us with the answer of what we need. And now let's put all of this and set up the conversion pathway. 45.3 milliliter of solution. That's what we start out. And now we have to convert this into lead of solution first. So 1000 milliliter of solution equal to one liter of solution and now we can use the molarity so here in this case right here we want to put liter of solution on the denominator because we want to cancel it out and on top we'll be having 0 0.550 more of methanol and now we can see that the unit would get cancel out liter of solution cancel with liter of solution milliliter of solution will cancel with milliliter of solution. And when we solve for this, we now have 0 0.0249 mole of methanol. So that how many more of methanol in this particular volume with this concentration right here. And in chemical calculation, sometimes it is useful for us to do the following. So we recognize the following. So here in this case, we have to convert from milliliter of solution into liter of solution first. And the more step that we have to show, then the more time it would take, right? So one of the way for us to do this quickly is as follow. So notice that the whenever we have the molarity of a solution, that's what it means right here, right? Now, instead of using one liter of solution, we know that one liter of solution is then equal to a thousand milliliter, right? So therefore, I can quickly write the following: 0 0.0950 more of whatever solute it would be, C12, H22O11, and now on the denominator. Instead of using one liter of solution, I can now have a thousand milliliter of solution. So this conversion factor, or if we were to be using this unit of volume of the solution here, it will allow us to cut down one step as we set up the conversion pathway to solve this problem right here. So we can either have one liter of solution on the denominator or a thousand milliliter of solution on the denominator. And please try this example two and three. And so I want to provide you with the answer so you can check your work for number three. The answer would then be 10.9 liter of solution. And for number four, the answer is 23 milliliter of solution.